everyone just starts using their phone more often, yeah, their laptops, and it's just, you buy everything. I never purchased food online until pandemic hit, right? right. So you start purchasing food, you purchase water, you purchase all the, the things that you need in the house, and yeah. then you start purchasing clothes because the stores are closed. You start purchasing all the other things. One of the agents told me that most of the New Yorkers, they like to see a lot of properties until they buy. Now they see a video and they purchase it. Correct. So that's all you need nowadays to sell something. People are buying without even seeing the property. I know an investor uh, yes, that yes. bought one of his first properties in California without even seeing it. Yes, he so marketing it. is very important. I'm Angela Andranache and this is Julian Arango. Julian Arango, we are both with Ancona Real Estate. And we were talking today, today we are at Missoni Baya. Yep. We are in Edgewater and we had a team meeting here where we had a full presentation explaining us how is the project, what's special about it. And we were, after everybody left, of course, we left here, me and Julian, talking and discussing marketing strategies. So Julian is about to tell us and explain how YouTube marketing just launched a new, uh, um, a new shorts feature. A it's new its, feature, yes. So it's in its beta stage. I'm gonna come up and show you. This one has 26 million, this one has 6.9 million. So basically this shorts feature enables you to upload a short video, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, you caption it, you can hashtag it. You have to hashtag it shorts for it to be put on the shorts uh, real. The cool thing about it is you can upload anything. Mm -hmm. You can upload it and it doesn't even have to be your content. <laughs> so you can upload a cool video that someone took in Dubai, put it up, go viral, get like 10,000 subscribers. You can monetize their shorts, but guess what? It brings a lot of attention to your channel. Oh, that's right. So, and that's what we want because we want to have attention. Once you get the attention, people will come to see what else you're bringing to the table, right? Exactly. So and like, they want to you post one viral video mm -hmm. and you get 30,000 subscribers, 20,000 yes. new people subscribe to you and paying attention to you. Yes, because YouTube was known for very long videos and we all know that yes. sometimes they're boring. Sometimes we watch YouTube videos just because you learn a lot from YouTube. You, you, you like every time, how many times you're searching for something and you don't want to read, you just go on YouTube and you know, exactly. something. And you were saying about your, uh, your TikTok video. TikTok is known for pretty much younger generation, but even the older generation, I believe, yeah, got so really big into TikTok, right? They did, so like TikTok is like, basically all the grown-ups are playing catch-up. <laughs> they wanna be, you know, they, you know, yes. your artists, your, your, your business people, everybody, your comedians, everybody wants to be on TikTok because mm -hmm. the exposure there is so big. Like you have more users on TikTok now than, than almost all social medias. Yes, like, and how, how, for example, tell us how is that um, helping with real estate marketing? So what, what will that, how will that help, for example, a seller? How will TikTok help a seller well, sell their property? Okay, well, as for, for a seller, um, it's exposure. Um, mm -hmm. if, if you use a realtor that has a very popular TikTok page. Yes. You know, um, I'm not there yet, but I'm, <laughs> I'm getting there. I mean, I'm getting a good amount of views. Yes. And I'm getting the hang of it. You have 30,000 views. What yeah. do you mean you're not there yet? Yeah, yeah. You're there. You um, have 30,000 people watching your TikTok video. Okay. And that video was related to the real estate, it was. right? So, so I took obviously. That video at Ashton Martin Residences. Mm -hmm. I made sure that I capitalized off of what they had as far as marketing. So they had a two point, uh, they had a $2 million car in there. And I thought it was amazing. I was like, it's I amazing need, because I, the car comes with the unit, right? That's it comes that with was, the penthouse. So like, it comes with you, the penthouse. If you buy the penthouse, you get that uh, Ashton Martin car. And so it's I, a it's a very rare car. I think there's only 23 in the yeah, world. Only 23 in the world.
yes. you could be one of the 23 people that owns that car and lives in the penthouse at Aston Martin Residences yes. in downtown Miami. What Julian did, he filmed a little short video and he posted it on his TikTok where you think a lot of young generation will be there, but he got 30,000 views, which is amazing for, for the real estate business, yeah, right? It is, it's it is amazing. amazing for, like, let's say for a new, for an owner that wants to sell a property and maybe you never know who the buyer will be, but the buyer might be in any of those 30,000 views, yeah, you never I'll know. I'll tell you a cool story. So, this story I actually heard on Clubhouse. I was I was I was an early Clubhouse member. Okay. It's not that popular anymore, but it, it is still a cool app yes. to use to market to network. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, I was hearing uh, I was in a TikTok room in Clubhouse, and they were talking about how TikTok room in Clubhouse. Yeah. So there's like TikTok. Um, okay. It was a room about TikTok. So like okay, got it. Had so, so you just learn all yeah. the marketing yeah. and how how to exactly. Okay. So literally, and, and those videos came after actually I was in all these rooms just just uh, soaking up all this knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, because like I'm, I'm a marketer. I love to learn the new ways of marketing. Yes. So I was hearing a realtor that all, like he's known as one of the best, uh, or one of the biggest TikTok realtors. Mm -hmm. And he's younger, you know, a little younger than us. Um, yes. Guess what he did? He, post, he would post videos all the time in all these nice houses, all the time. Yes. And guess what? A little kid that had a really wealthy family was like, oh, hey, dad, or hey, mom, look at this video. Guess what? The parents, there you go. the parents reached out to this realtor and he closed the deal. Of course. So that is the power of social media. It's, it's, it, you can't believe it until it happens. Yes. And tell us, like, how many buyers are looking for a home and find a home online and purchase online? I would say, I mean, most of the newer, newer generation is doing that. I'm pretty sure even the older generation that they were not using uh, internet so much because of the pandemic and Correct. everything that happened. I believe everyone just starts using their phone more often, yeah, their mean, laptops. Yeah, so marketing it. is very important. Yeah. So my point is having an agent who is really qualified, understands and uses this kind of marketing strategy is very crucial to the success of yourself because you will never be able to reach as many people. How would you reach 30,000 people, for example, like um, Julian here did, just the word of mouth or just sending some flyers? How many flyers do you open on a daily basis? People don't really, like, honestly, I get, how many flyers, like, every time when I go to my mailbox, yeah. I open, I trash, trash, bill, trash, trash, bill. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I do, and that's, every, that's what everybody doing, and you're doing the same, I'm pretty sure. And, you don't want just to send flyers and letters because those are people don't really pay too much attention we have so many distractions like yeah. so yeah, many i feel like it's it's almost like you might get a few older people that open those up or see those flyers yeah that's going it's almost like old it's, it's expired people yes are on their, <laughs> people are glued to their phones it's, it's a part of them it's now. a part of them that's yeah. true that's what I'm saying is very important whoever and even if you are trying to for example sell the property by yourself you have to know how to market it because if you don't you know you might as well hire someone to do it correct like and if I don't know how to uh, put a, a hole in the wall I'm not gonna try to do it myself I might hurt myself so I will definitely hire a contractor or I'll hire someone doing the things that I don't know correct and, and also a lot of for sale by owners they end up selling below market price because they don't really understand the market. Mm -hmm. So when you hire a professional realtor, actually, they usually get you about over 20% of what you would get yes. selling it by yourself. And a lot faster. And a lot faster. And that commission is just almost, it's, it's not, it's not much of that percentage that you actually Yes, if you calculate of how much you're selling compared to how much you're paying for the service give, being given to you, it's pretty much you're earning more than you're actually spending for the services, that, if that makes yeah. any sense. Yeah, because you're sense. selling faster and you're selling for a, for a better price than you actually thought it's worth. Correct. So there we go. Especially in today's market, we have a competitive market. Everybody yeah. is a yeah. bidding war out there and we need more sellers. So if you are ready and willing to sell, come out because 
buyers are like so hungry. Like yeah. I can't believe they're they're fighting. They're fighting over any property. They buy everything they can. Yep. I don't know why everyone is just buying, keeps buying. I mean, the interest are at an all-time low. That's right, the interest. And a lot of uh, the, you know, the gen newer generation, they're coming to age, they're having kids, you know, mm -hmm. they have the income. And uh, I mean, it's, I'm telling you, there's more people in the world. So there's more and people, li and they're limited. Uh, and real I estate. think it's a, it's a good, it's also a good market right now to be in. Exactly. Inventory is low, prices are going up. Yes, that's exactly what is happening right now. And we have people coming from all over the world. So having someone that has the knowledge and has the connections is really important because if you, for example, you have a house to sell, right? And you might not be able, buyers are gonna call today at 3 p.m., tomorrow at 5, the next day at 8 a.m. You have to be available for them to show the house because they come when they can. They don't come only when you can, right? It's not like that. If they don't like, if they, they don't have an availability, that they're gonna go see another house. Exactly. That's around the corner, your competition. So you really want to make yourself available. So if you're not available, the agents will do that for you. Correct. And that's part of the... the now, another question I want to ask you, how many agents are really doing the marketing, the real marketing that is required to sell a house? Uh, I would say about, I think it's a little bit of half and half. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of, I, when I look go on the MLS, I see bad pictures. <laughs> Um, Every no time, oh my God, Every, I can't believe, I cannot stress enough how important a good quality picture it is for your house. Yeah. Think of it like this, you're like buyers, like we mentioned before, they're looking, searching and finding and purchasing a home online nowadays because it's easier and mm -hmm. they don't want to travel if they can just see something online. Correct. So a picture makes makes or breaks a deal pretty much because if it's a picture to take by phone and you take it with a very uh, or bad light bad lighting is very important you have to see the home bright you have to see the good angles so you really want to have a good quality pictures because correct that's going to make a big huge difference correct for example i was looking at listings the other day and i was you know i go through the listings fast because i have a lot of clients and the moment I see bad pictures, you don't or even look at them. I just go past it. So that's right. That's a, that's a perfect real life example. In real life example, I had a client as well. We were looking at a um, at a condo, and I how I was supposed to do the search for her because that's what we do. We do the search for them right, right. before, and so I you you know you don't send them what you know they're not gonna even look at. It. So she told me what she likes. How many bedrooms? How many bathrooms? If she had a pet, so I had to take good consideration of that. So when I go and search, I see if I there is listings that have no pictures. How yeah. is that even possible? I mean, it's just I mean, there's a lot of agents that just don't care. I mean, they just they don't invest at all. Yeah. Like because you know when what is marketing? Marketing is an investment from our pocket to you. That's what pretty much it is. We pay for everything that we take care of everything and we pay for everything that needs and is required for your house to be sold. Yep. So most of the agents, they don't want to pay that because they want to take the full commission. So they don't want to, you know, but if you don't pay, I feel like if you pay for marketing and just do it right, you actually sell the house for more money than, than you can. Correct, faster. Faster and, and for more, more money. Business. Yes, and going back to my search, my uh, I was looking for the for the properties, and the pictures that didn't look really well, and I couldn't figure out if that's the kitchen or the bathroom, or which is the master, or doesn't even have a master. And I scroll through; it's very dark. Pictures are tiny. I don't even know how. Every phone today makes really good, decent pictures, but. I'm thinking sometimes where these people get those pictures from, like you, what you take them with, like because not even like five years ago, I don't think those cameras were still better than what I yeah. see on the MLS today, because I see some pictures like very They're tiny. Cool. It's yeah. like a, it's like for um, you know when you're having your passport, the tiny yeah. little it's like uh, three take, by four. <laughs> they take like these pictures and like I don't a camera honestly, from the 90s or I something. don't I. I, even in the 90s, I think they still had 16 by, yeah. you know, they had full. Um, so I'm not sure, but um, the thing is, I will never, 
And listen to me, I will never send my client a listing that has those kind of pictures because yep. that will make me look bad as a realtor. What kind of property are you sending me? I don't want to live there. What, what is that? So obviously they're not even going to look. So I'm not sending those. And trust me, a lot of the agents, they're doing the same because they trust and put value in their service. And I put value in my service and the quality of the service I deliver, right? Yes. And you do the same. You, you, you have a quality and you have a value. You have a standard that you go with. And you don't want to send your clients. It's just going to look bad to send those. They'll be like, why did you send me those? It, it doesn't, but when you send the good pictures, they're like, wow, I really yeah. like. And you send good pictures, and when you go in person, you look at the unit, doesn't really look that good as it was yeah. in picture. Exactly. But what it does, what that does to you, even, for example, let's say the unit doesn't look that great, it sets the mood for the entire tour. So my client already knows that's a great unit, and all she thinks in her head is a great unit, it's a great unit. Mm -hmm. And when she gets in there, even if it's not that great, she still thinks it's a great unit yeah. because she has that, that mentality and thinking that it's a positive and a, and a great unit. And even if there is a little flaws here and there, she'll be like, that's fine, I can deal with that. You yeah. know, because yeah. she saw the picture, which looked amazing. Yep. And, and, and that's really important, I believe. It's really, really important. important. Pictures, they, they sell the property. Absolutely, they absolutely. Do. And if you can have and can take a video, that's even better because you can... Yeah. For you me, can like every property that I list has to have a virtual tour, has to have a video. They, yes. Because, I mean, videos sell properties as well, pictures, you know, you put it on the MLS, but the video, mm -hmm. put it on YouTube, and that gives you that exposure as well. Yes. And boom, people have bought properties just by looking at a video. Yes, so. yes. And you can, you can change the video. You can make it into a podcast if, you to, if you're talking into the video, right? Yeah. If you translate, you can make it into a podcast so you attract, because there is different um, audiences out there. There's yeah. people who listen just podcasts all day long. They don't watch video because they don't have the time. Correct. Like they're driving. If you're driving a lot, so you don't have time for YouTube, <laughs> you know, because you don't want to get into an accident. And there's a lot of uh, drivers, I mean, there's a lot of people that drive for work. Yes. Or drive to yes. work, you know, drive 45, an hour sometimes to work. Mm -hmm. So they're constantly looking for new podcasts, looking for new content. To, yes. To, you know, yes. To so you can make it into a podcast. You can post it on all the social media accounts everywhere. And you can multiple posts. You can post... Like you said, on the, on the YouTube, that's why we started with this and yeah. we're going back to this. Yeah. Isn't this interesting? Yeah. We, we started <laughs> backwards or forward, I don't even know, yeah. but it makes sense now, right? Um, so we started the video that you make with the property. If you can do it by yourself, amazing. Just do it. If you can't, hire somebody who can. Because, and you want to hire a professional. You don't want to film it with your phone because yeah. we already talked about the, the phone. Unless you're really good with the phone, because you know, I, I know some people that are really good filming with the phone. Correct. Correct. So you can you can do that with the phone too. Yeah. But uh, I, I, you have I've to done. really you have to really know how to edit it right. When you walk with the phone, you don't want to have the shaking. Yeah. So buy a stabilizer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just buy a stabilizer if you want to use your phone to do videos or take pictures because you know you have. You don't have a steady hand. We're, we're naturally not very steady with yes. our hands. So, so if you have a tripod or... Tripod if you, or stabilizer. Or stabilizer that, 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 that can help if you don't have the budget or if you're not affording to have, to have a professional video made. But the point was that you can break that video in so many little pieces and just post it and share it to the world. Correct. And reach those buyers that are looking for a home just like yours. Because they're out there looking. They're there. Like every, like honestly, I believe every house has already its buyer. It just didn't reach its attention. Correct. That's yeah. what it is. It is. You need to reach the attention to the buyers. And if you can't do it yourself, we are here to help. Here to help. And I'm Julian Arango. And I'm Angela Andernache. And thank you for our video today.